travelling along the road at a hurried pace, horses, four people, all dressed in yellow and brown. Uh, the person in charge seems to be a woman uh, of samurai status. They're all, all samurai status. Um, and they have been for the past five minutes rushing towards a big plume of black smoke rising up into the air. They suddenly hear a huge crack, a huge bang, a huge monstrous dark sound explosion. And they see a second plume of, of black smoke rising into the air. Matsuhiro uh, urges on her companions as they swiftly ride through the trees towards the city of Mikasaki. This is Legend of the Five Rings. <laughs> Welcome to the Cackling Jackal. My name is James and I've got my friends here, Leon, playing uh, Shasuro Akira. Yep. Kyle, playing Yasuki Matsu. B1. B1. <laughs> Leith, playing Tagashi Toshiro. And for the first time appearing in the video, <laughs> Chad, who's back from death, playing Yuchibatu. I did. I think I did well remembering everyone's names. Yeah, there. I don't like, remember their names at all. <laughs> 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 yeah. I, I stalled on, on Chad's. I, I actually think you got it wrong. It's not Yuchibatu. It's, it's Yuchi. It's, it's Yuchi. Yuchi. It's, it's Milan. <laughs> <laughs> the sexy... Uh, uh, what is Emmy O? Fate. I think you got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Goku. Goku, okay. And then Ichiba. Ichiba. Which one's Goku? Okay, so. Yeah. Have you never seen Dragon Ball Z? Goku's the main guy. He, he's the one on the screen. Yeah. Why am I Goku? Oh, because I set my hands on fire. Cool, gotcha, with you. <laughs> okay, I so. Know. I don't know. It's been a while since, we, since we played. Um, you guys. Uh, I'm looking there in the camera. You guys would have, um, you know, if you've been keeping up, it's only like a week ago that we would have released the episode before this episode because we're releasing them weekly. But it has been a month since we played. In fact, exactly a month. It was the 6th of February last we played. Now it's the 6th of March. Is that what this is? Yeah. yeah. Time. Um, so who wants to start off by recounting sort of like the whole of last session for us? Kyle, I think you're up. <laughs> oh, okay, you're I said Kyle as well. Oh, perfect. Uh, we opened with Masao, no, Yasuki Masao, um, who was a dick to his apprentice and was sent to Kyudin Ishawa? Asawa. Asawa. Close. Uh, Kyudin Asawa uh, for the meeting of the Black Opal. Yep. Uh, along the way, he met uh, Ichibatu. And yep. Takashi, uh, and Milan here. Uh, <laughs> Did you meet um, Akira as the female Akira or as the male Akira? Whatever you are now. That was the first time you met. Yeah, him? I think then it must be. I think you because you guys only met actually at Kyudo Masawa, no which worries. you'd already changed uh, changed form. Right. Then I yes, you met the male Akira. Yeah, I remember him trying to shave in no, front no. of us. You met the female Akira. He yeah, you, you travelled with us as the male here, but when we got to the palace, oh, you changed. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, you're, right. you're, you're oh, currently okay. you're currently in your scorpion form. Yes. I don't mean to say like you're you're covered <laughs> in insignias that say scorpion. That being said, you what you do have on you is a, is a scorpion mask. Yes. Right. Um, I don't know if we've actually talked about what your mask looks like. No, I don't think we have. I also have, wouldn't have brought that out yet. Yes. I don't think. Okay, well, we'll get to that at some point, so think about it. What happened next, Carl? Uh, from there, we met uh, the Master of Void. Yes. Uh, and he basically said bad things are happening, and he needs a council, some heroes. Um, a conclave. A conclave. One would say. Mm -hmm. Enclave? Conclave? Uh, and um, basically, we were sent to Nagasaki. Nikasaki, yep. I yes. think at least throughout all the second episode, I was saying Nakasake. Yeah, I have a No, it's name. Nikasake. Is that Nikasake? N, N, N I K E S A K E. N -I -K -E. N -I -K -E. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Damn mm. vowels, yo. Yes. Uh, when we got there, we uh, discovered. Well, we left Ichiba behind. Mikey. Um, yeah. Yep. 
we discovered that, that the uh, the shrines were under attack. We went which to shrines? Do you know Do you know what shrines they are? Absolutely not. Uh, the crane's gift and the phoenix blessing. There we go. That's why we have a note taker. <laughs> yes. Um, and uh, we attempted to rescue some civilians with our. Uh, some of us successfully rescued some of us civilians. Successfully with uh, the apprentice. What was his name? Is that what Takuma? Takuma. Yes. Uh, while Milan and I, yeah, also known as Akira, Akira, uh, attacked a shadowy figure who um, then exploded us. Yeah, he seemed very intent on finishing some kind of ritual, so I thought, let's try and get him while he's distracted, but I kept failing at hitting him. Yeah, look, the dice weren't, weren't kind of friendly. In saying that, I was just missing, and I also didn't realise that my weapon, while it has a ranged quality, is actually a melee attack, and I might have had an extra dice, and maybe it would have changed, but you know what, that's how the fate yes. works. But since we then, hopefully live and learn. Since then, we have <laughs> taken the dice on a nice... Couples retreat. Yes. Um, Treat into some drinks. Wine yeah. and dine. Wine. Yeah. wine and dine. Some massage oil. Yeah. And, yeah. Like hey. they've been they've been treated, so we'll see how they do. A little blue pill. Uh, <laughs> that was for me. Not <laughs> the dice. The dice didn't need it. Um and there hopefully there'll dice. be enough. Okay, well let's get right into that. So you guys uh well specifically Leon, but also uh not Leon. Akira. Akira. Specifically Akira, Matsau, and Tagashi. All of you are in the Crane's gift, Crane's Blessing. Crane, which one's which? Uh, Phoenix the, Blessing? The Crane's Gift. Crane's, Crane's gift. Blessing has Phoenix already been blown up. Yes. It's a rebel um, okay. And yeah, you have just been fighting and uh, Akira in particular saw the big ball of black shadowy unstableness sort of shudder. Yes. I was trying to finish him before it Yes, happened. and you were oh so close. So close. When this big black ball of shadow exploded out. Yeah. And now, this explosion is a bit odd. It's almost in two stages, cool. right? So yeah. first what happens is um, a big sort of shadowy pulse sort of just like spreads out. Rains and the flesh from Akira's bones. Well, not quite. Um, and... You sort of hear this weird, uh, weird wailing as it, as it sort of pulses out. It doesn't go very far. Um, you guys sort of get covered a little bit in it. Like it sort of just pass. It's weird. It passes through you rather than like ash hitting what you. What color would you say this? Like this black. Wave is, it's black. Yeah. Or like a really dark purple. Black. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what you're referencing there. No, no. I'm I'm just wanting a visual for my. Own okay. Thing. No, it's it's as black as black can be. Cool. Can you see through it, or it's just? Uh, it's sort of as it gets sort of out to where these guys are. It sort of thins. Yeah. Um, it sort of looks rather familiar to the the thick black smoke that's been rising in the air from the yes. first explosion. Am I intimately familiar with this? No. Oh, intimately. Yeah. <laughs> you you would have seen effects similar to it. It does reek of the Shadowlands. Mostly saw the after effects, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, so it sort of wisps out while you only sort of get a little bit of this stuff sort of go through you and start rising up into the air, uh, Akira is much closer to the, to the source of the explosion. Am I covered you... like a white light? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Uh, you sort of get this, this wave of it just rage and fear and all sorts of emotions which are very unbecoming of a samurai. Um, before suddenly on your chest a bright light begins to sort of shoot out and shine through this darkness. Uh, you sort of look down as the finger of jade that you've been hanging around your neck uh, that was given to you last session by Matt Sal. <laughs> yeah, thank God. <laughs> thank because God. literally I was like, cool, you've got one finger of jade and you guys like umming and ahhing about who should get it and then Kyle got fed up and was just like, fucking give it to Akira. <laughs> so you got lucky. Yes. It shines through this uh, shadow, and you guys who get sort of blown back by the by the force of this explosion see basically this coalescing blackness, and then suddenly break through with light, um, and the finger of jade dissolves. So basically, your life was saved by my impatience. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Or impotence, one or two. Well, we don't talk about that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I said this explosion was in two parts. 
So you don't have to worry about the Shadowlands and the affliction that would have resulted. Yeah, um, I imagine from like that. a smug look comes over my face <laughs> yes. for a second when the black comes over. Like, then you can't touch me. Comes the fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So basically, you're yeah. like one of the the remains of the the, the people who got uh, hit by the explosion of Mount Vesuvius in Pompeii. It's my guy masturbating on the ground and yeah. I'm getting covered by ash. Okay. Or... So it's it's almost weird how you you guys sort of perceive this going on while you're getting blown back by this explosion and like the first pulse plus the heat and the and the you know explosion part of the explosion. Um, I need you guys to both make TN th uh, TN three fitness checks. Uh, Matt Sal was in Earth stance where we left off, yep. and Toshiro was in fire. TN three. Okay. TN three. So uh, which one is the ring dice again? Ring dice are the black dice. And you said that the black one. Fitness. Uh, fitness. White. Black dice are the rings, yep. and so the three. white ones are from your skills. Yeah, so one. fitness. Sure. Um, so remember, you have you keep but you keep the number of your, your ring. Yep. You keep the number of dice equal to your ring. If you want to use a void point, you can spend that to get an extra black dice and keep an extra die. Um, I. Yeah, if I remember correctly, I didn't have any void points at the end of the last session. Potentially not. I'm not sure if Fleet did either. Yeah, all of my numbers are... Yes, are because right. it's a new character sheet. And it's a fresh that would explain sheet. It. I, can, uh, I can actually look it up I, if you want. I think, if I remember correctly, you yeah, I took some I had, strive to yeah, get Yeah, I took strive to get one back and immediately it. spend it, so... Okay, yeah. so you're out as well. I think Akira still has void points, which... I keep that in mind, because you might want to use one almost immediately. I've only got one, then I... So I have uh, my void ring... Yes, because your yet. void ring hasn't increased yet. Cool. So, what do we get? TN3. Short uh, answer is no. Okay. I got Long one answer. explosive success on my white dice. Okay. And another. So remember you have to choose which dice you're keeping before you start resolving explosives. Yeah. So I kept two of my uh, black dice and my white dice. Cool. And my white dice exploded again with nothing. Um, so I have technically four successes and two strike. Cool. You are very bad at but as you hit the ground, you don't quite slip into unconsciousness. Okay. But I do take two strife. Toshiro, on the other hand. <laughs> what do we got? A success and an opportunity. Cool. What do you want to spend that opportunity on? Well, I don't know if there's much that's really going to apply to this particular situation. Can, can he spend the, six, uh, the opportunity on insurance? <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit late. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a six month waiting period. Yeah, exactly. Awkward. You can't really just in the middle, mid explosion, <laughs> be like, oh, can't take, like out a, can't take out a claim. It's like you're getting stabbed and you say, oh, hang on, I need to call my um, yeah. insurance company. They're a little bit more organized on that sheet, I think. Mm. Yeah. I don't think there's anything I can draw. There's not much, to be honest. There's really not. I, I mean, I'm not getting two more successes out of it either way. No. So, um, I don't do well. Cool. Does being in fire help in any way? No. <laughs> oh, did you roll any strife? Oh no, because you need to succeed to get to use... Yeah. No, don't worry. Don't worry, you need to actually I, succeed I, yeah, to use I, those I both successes. I could trade, but it's still I yeah. didn't get there. Um, cool. So, uh, Toshiro, on the other hand, gets blown back and hits the ground rather rather hard, <coughs> and gets knocked unconscious. Cool. Leon. Akira. Akira is middle in the middle of this explosion, or not in the middle, but not very far away from this explosion as it goes off. I need you to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> Just that's it. No dice rolling. rolling. Wait, so you can go back to Leon then. This is the right <laughs> thing. I need you to try and resist a critical with severity nine. No worries. Alright, so I'm going to say that so, my strife was already at 8 from memory from last time. Yeah, I think you were on the, on the edge, weren't you? I hadn't gone yeah. over, but I took the strife to try and kill him. And it, anyway. Yes. Don't kill me. So I'm at 8, and then what am I doing? What am I rolling? So, to resist the strife, it's a uh, TM1 fitness check. You're currently in air stance, where we yes. left off. Yes. Which is good, because that's what you want to be in. Yes. Fitness um, is... It's under athletics? No, yeah, it's under martial. Yeah, it's under zero one. That's right. No worries. So, so I. A TN1 to fitness roll check. Three air. Yep, and no, no skills. 
Do you have it? Zero okay. skills. Yep. If you want to spend your last and only void point, you can make that and four black. Make my four black. And okay. every every success you get is going to reduce the severity by one. Okay. So, so you have no hope of not suffering a crit. Uh, right? Uh, but you have a hope of not suffering a crit of nine. <laughs> Just for uh, the okay. camera, what is a crit of nine? So a crit of nine is a maiming blow. Ooh. This sounds pretty bad. And then we'll... Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll go into it. Depending on how many no, successes you get. Potentially I could take zero a lot if of I get a lot of explosive, a lot of explosive successes. successes explosions are the only thing that can save you from this. Even if it's already zero, still damages your armor. If I get enough... <laughs> I just need 10 explosive successes <laughs> out of 4 dice. What's the trouble? Sure, sure. Okay. Now that you're the one with impotence. Alright, so there's a success. What do we got? Let's let's step through this. Okay, I've got, I've got a success. What's the explosive success is what symbol? Is the, the it's 3. Kind of it's basically 3 of these. That's right. Okay, yeah. so I've got a success, I've got an opportunity, I've got an opportunity with strife, and I've got a success with strife. They're the four so, dice yeah. I have. So two successes. Two successes there, and an opportunity. Yeah. So I can, can I ditch one of the dice, can't I? You have to. Yeah. No, because no, 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 the void point lets you keep one. Sorry, yes. Now, when you keep dice, you can keep up to a number of dice. So, yes. you, don't, there's no, you don't have to hold on to all of them. So, I can get rid of one of them that's got an opportunity and a strife. Because it's not really... The world. Basically, yeah, it, doesn't, it basically cancels each other. Unless you want to spend the opportunity on other things. I mean, you're kind of you're becoming compromised from this anyway. Yes. Right. Because your st your strife is going above your composure. Cool. Well, then what you know what you got a point there. So then I've got two opportunity that I can use. Yes. What can I use them for? Uh, in uh, narrative uses, observe an interesting detail about a character in the yeah. scene. Yeah. yeah. Would you let me say that that I can <laughs> notice some details? Sure. I'll let you notice a detail. Some very cool details. Two details. So I'll let, well well I'll kind of combine them into one. All right. It's, it's going to be interesting. You basically see, as this explosion's going off, the shadowy part of the explosion seems to just sort of move through without impacting the dark cloaked figure, who was also in the scene, yes. who caused said explosion. Yes. Uh, you also then see uh, him, her, you're not quite sure, looks more like a man, but could be a well-built female. Fair um, Cloaks kind of obf obfuscate that fact. Um, manages to sort of, he looks towards you, as you're suffering this critical strike, and then sort of vanishes amongst the shadow. Interesting. There's a, there's a detail. Uh, sure, I'll give you a second detail. Yep. Um, the zombies and the skeletons that were attacking Sawa Takuma yep. turn to dust as... As the fire... As, as, the as, he, as he leaves. He okay. drops concentration here. <laughs> yes. Bigger. Um, which was pretty bad because they were attacking Takuma, who did, was suffer, dying, did, did suffer a crit or two. Yeah. So... Okay, so, but you got two successes. Yes, I did. Two successes is going to reduce the severity of your crit, crit to seven. Well, which means instead of suffering a maiming blow, you suffer a permanent injury. Oh, that's hey. all. Sweet. <laughs> so. To my pride, or? <laughs> first things first, you are now bleeding. Yes. So bleeding is a condition. Perfect. Um, oh, basically, uh, the effect is when keeping strife results on a dice, you suffer the same amount of physical damage, ignoring resistance. Oof. Yes, okay. So whenever you keep strife, it's going to cause you to sort of lose health. Yeah, Not lose. that really matters right now, because yeah. you're making any rolls. Uh, okay, cool. Oh, and then it crits you. Good. Um, anyway, uh, so bleeding's not that bad for this particular situation since the enemy's gone. But then you have to choose one of the following disadvantages. So cool. you're in the air ring, so you have a choice between two things. Yes. Maimed visage... Which means I look ugly. Which means you like got a big, huge, ugly scar or something across your face. Yes. Um, which if it's going to affect anybody, it's going to be the cordia. Yes. Uh, or nerve damage. Oh. Don't take that. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on. The nerve damage doesn't sound too bad. As someone who has it, no, don't take nerve Depends damage. Depends on how this goes. Like, what's your mechanics of this nerve damage here? Is it something that's like, I just, you know, can't feel pain? Or her in pain Let's have a look exactly what. I agree. <laughs> Two sides. One way is really good. One way is really. On one bad. side, you become kick-ass. Yeah. Do you apply the uh, the following applies to a character with a nerve damage adversity? You have no feeling in certain parts of your body. Cool. And when you make a check for which physical sensitivity is helpful, such as aesthetics, air check to delicately paint glaze onto a ceramic piece, 
or a fitness air check to maintain your posture exactly when moving, you must choose and re-roll two dice containing successes. I'm going to have no damage. No damage? I cool. think Akira would rather have less feeling in certain places, but still be able to have her, his slash her a beautiful face. Yes. Okay, cool. So write that down in your adversity section. Adversity. It's on the front page. Right oh, there. Sweet. Write it next to it if you need to. No, no, no. Okay. Can we act? Well, I can't. But I'm, I'm conscious. conscious. You can. You're, you're sort of, you sort of sit up. Am I still conscious? Stunned. Uh, yes. Yeah. You would have exceed. You would have exceeded your fatigue. Um, um, but I have a healer's kit. Yes. And so I'm going to run up to the bleeding person mm -hmm. and do what I need to do. To Start bandaging them. Yes. Cool. Make a medicine. Is there a medicine check? There is a medicine, and I have a white dice in that. I'm not going to realise you're doing it at first, you start infecting my nerve damage shit, and then I'm like, Well, oh, shit, when did you get here? <laughs> and Masao just has this focused, but slightly angry expression on his face. Um, I'm still on Earth, so I assume we use Earth. Or do I have you to? You can change stance if you want. I mean, there's no enemy around, so I guess we can take this narratively. I guess there's no reason why I wouldn't use Earth. Yeah, it's your best one. It is my best one, and it's about... I mean, I've been in the situation where I've had to bandage people up after they've come back from the yep. Shadowlands, so this is about recalling that training. Uh, and I will take the Strife to gain back a Void Point. Is that how it works? Well, if it applies, what's the, what's the disadvantage you're using? What's the anxiety? Uh... Oh, I have to use my anxiety? Yeah, mm -hmm. it has to apply to the situation. Yeah, okay, if that won't fit. Anyway. Explosive success. Success. And those two cancel out, but I might as well keep them. And... Okay, uh, one, two, three. Three successes with two strife. Uh, yeah, it would have been only a TM2 or something. So, yeah, you managed to patch up the, the bleeding. Yep. Um, which is good, because it means you're not bleeding out. Uh, you, at this moment, we're going to quickly sort of... Uh, uh, actually, no. We're going to move back to Matsuhiro. Um, currently bursting into the clearing that you guys are in. Not the clearing, the, um, the road and the, the two now destroyed shrines. Mm. Uh, is a... Female upon a horse, um, who is dressed definitely in the colours of the Lion Clan, um, and basically hops off the horse. If Togashi Toshiro was awake to witness this, <laughs> it's a shame. <laughs> he would recognise Matsuhiro. Real shame. You know who Matsuhiro is, yes, Leaf? Um, I don't think I have it in my notes, but yes. Yep. No? Might be in your Matsuhiro notes. was yeah. from your little um, prelude. Yes. The character who was seeking to wed a dragon yeah. lady, yeah. Uh, but was not permitted to. Yeah. She she was arguing with my dragonfly. Yes, you're in the dragonfly court. She was seeking to go up to the uh, the dragon land, the dragon mountains, and propose to another character who I can't remember the name of right now. I think it was Miru Mirumoto something. Hmm. Yeah. As these guys approach, I'm gonna kind of like limp out of the building. I think I'm still unconscious. Oh, did you say I'm unconscious? No. Yeah. Oh. You would have. You would well, have gone beyond your. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, in that case, then I don't do anything. Yes. I, just, I like that. Less dying. <laughs> uh, so hero is going to approach and immediately sort of go to see how, like, sees you tending to Akira. And is going to go over to, uh, to Shiro's limp body. And uh, sort of the the her entourage follow. Um, get you guys bundled up on the horses. Do you say anything to them? Uh, I completely ignore them at first. Fix my glasses. Yeah. And I'm gonna run over to Takuma's body. Yes. And also use my healer's kit on that. Cool. On that. Yes. 
Does um, my healer's kit get, ex- like, used, or is it, like... No, it's just, like, I'm assuming that every time you sort of, like, go back to a town or something, you're, you're refilling supplies. Okay. Get more bandages in um, there, Tom. The, the game is pretty vague on what exactly is in it, just, like, tinctures and bandages and all these sort of things. I assume I could, like, well, we're basically gather a few herbs. Yeah, it basically things. allows you to make medicine checks to stop things. Cool. Um, and what was uh, her name again? Something here? Not Matsu. Matsu. Matsu Hiro. Different spelling to myself. Yes. M A T S U, which is one of the one of the Lion Clan families. Um, and then Hiro H I R O. Um, so do I need to make another check for Takuma? Oh, that's fine, I'll just let it sort of happen narratively. Uh, and you've got help from the from the Lion Entourage. There Great. are five of them in total. Um, and they basically get you bundled up on horses and take you to the town of Nikazaki unless you put up any resistance to that. Um, I don't think so. The only thing I want to do is just search around the area where the dark cloaked figure was very briefly. He's nowhere to be seen. Yeah, I just want to see if he's left anything behind. Not by the looks of it. No, I jump on one of the horses. Cool. Or I go try to find Butsu, actually. Butsu? Yeah, cool. Yeah, Butsu's bits, bits there. Uh, basically, we're going to allow this to happen while we deal with a scene that's happening in uh, the Phoenix Lands. So, back at Kyuda Nisawa, uh, Ichibatu is in a uh, big fluffy bed being tended to by seri- by serious? By various um, various nurses, whatever, medical people. Yep. Um, which, to be honest, a little rudimentary, but, uh, you know, they've got the best, the best uh, herbs and and stuff available to them. 11 herbs and spices. And to be honest, you're not that injured, especially considering what unknown to you just happened. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so you've just got like a broken leg from a horse landing on it. So, it's nothing. Well, I've been through this for other people, but uh, what, what does Ichibaji look like in this, in this medical bed? Okay, so Ichi looks like... Mm-hmm. So darker skin compared to everyone else in this land. Mm-hmm. Uh, messier hair, like very bushy, messy looking hair, uh, beard, but his body shape is literally very average. There is, it's not fat, it's not muscular, it's not skinny, it's, yeah, it's just, just in the middle. All the, all the sliders, yeah. all, all the character creation sliders are just in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if Goldilocks was here, she'd lie on you. Okay. <laughs> um, and uh, the clothing is like furs, not so much uh, refined or noble or fancy clothing, just like literally animal furs, skins. Cool. And yeah. Nice. Um, and you have spent uh, pretty much a whole day in this in this hospital bed. Okay. Um, it's not really a hospital. It's it's a private room in the in the the castle in the palace. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you're, you're recovering well. In fact, uh, you you didn't injure yourself that badly in the previous in the previous uh, sort of bandit attack that happened to the rest of you guys not long ago. Okay. Um, and your leg feels a lot better. Your leg in particular is what was what was busted. Okay. Um, into the room rushes. Um, Isawa Uji, yep. Master of Void. You've met them, you signed up for the Conclave of Black Opal. Um, I don't know whether to say do to catch up or don't because of my terrible role playing of Vatu last session. But if you watch the video, you'll see what happened. Okay. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so you he rushes in. He basically immediately dismisses the, nurse. the, the nurses in the room and says, leave us. And you see he's carrying a large uh, bowl of water. Okay. Right? A, large, a large bowl of water. Um, you've seen similar bowls sort of come in and out of the room with nurses. They've been like sort of sponging you, like, you know, probably to clean things away. This so bowl we're, is we're, we're not being that exploded purpose. and he's getting a sponge bowl. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, and uh, Eugenia sort of says, we don't have much time. The others are in trouble. Touches your forehead, right? Okay. <laughs> What's that? Nothing. 
touches your forehead and you get sort of a vision of a large city, right? Um, this is the, the city of Nikasake. Yep. Uh, you've, you've seen it from a distance, you're familiar. Um, and there's basically sort of a river that runs alongside the city. And the vision that he's giving you is sort of focuses in, in on that river. Okay. Right? Um, and he says, the others are in, are in trouble. They must go. And places the bowl of water in front of you. Okay. <laughs> um, so. so, you, while you've been resting in this bed, have had time to spend some XP and level up. Yeah, okay. So let's talk about what you received as you leveled up. Okay. Uh, what, what did you receive? If you want to, if you want to go through that. Uh, so I got... So you had 8 XP to spend. Yep. I spent it on... Two, two, two techniques. Yep. Uh, in my language? Uh, so, um, the unicorn in particular, so Ichibatu is the unicorn. Yep. Um, <laughs> the unicorn, Shigendra in particular, call certain invocations, spells, by different names, by foreign names. Yep. Um, so, first of all, you have... One called Bow of Water, yeah, which, which allows you to summon a staff made out of water and apply different qualities to it and do yeah. some interesting things. The we won't, won't read it too much, but... Yeah. Foreign name is Staff of the Sorcerer. Staff of the Sorcerer. Nice. Uh, the other thing you got was Dominion of Suijin, which is called Spires of the Garden Pond. Yes. Um, in, in your naming conventions, which... Let, why don't you tell us what that does a little bit? What, what's okay. its main purpose, anyway? So the main purpose is I can look through, I'm going to say a large enough body of water. Yep. And it'll basically let me scry on, uh, would you say certain people? Uh, what it lets you do is it lets you look through one body of water and, come out and look through and, and see what is coming out of a, another body of water that you are familiar with. Yeah. Right? So it's, it's kind of like a scry, a limited scry. Yep. You need to know... Um, and by default, it has to be within your eyesight, the, the second body of water. Um, but, obviously that's not what you're trying to do here, you're trying to look beyond your eyesight. Which is a thing you can do if you spend some opportunity while yeah. you're casting it. So, and he showed me what the vision of... He showed you a body of, a uh, vision of a lake. Of a, of a, of, of, not a lake, a river. Yep. Right? Which is a body of water. Okay. Um... <laughs> One of the other things you can do with that particular spell, if you get a lot of opportunity, yes. is you can use it to like, step into the first body of water and come out of the second body of water. Yeah. Basically a teleport. Yeah. Um, so how, many, how much opportunity is that? I need three. He need, so he needs one opportunity to do it outside of vision. Mm -hmm. Right? And then he needs three more to do it. So four. To so he's going to be it. here for a bit trying until he gets that. Well, no. Uh, what is going to happen is because um, Ma Master Regina okay. is, such, is versed in the way of spells so very thoroughly, mm. he's going to give you those four opportunity to spend. You just need to succeed on a roll. Okay. <laughs> so it's a T and two theology. Now, have we talked about which of your spells you have a talisman for at the moment? Because um, again, Unicorn and Shigendra are slightly different. That's right. They have, they have talismans that let certain spells be um, easier to cast. I'll let you choose. I'm assuming while you're in bed you can make the make the design check for okay. it. Um, um, whichever spell you want. doesn't have to be this one. Yeah. Or oh, this one would be very useful right now. Yeah, it would be. So a talisman um, just lets, allows him to cast a spell with that. So it lets him cast a spell at minus one TN. Yep. Okay. Right? Like and when one he casts it, it doesn't use it up. I mean, yes, but he can also give the talisman to another Shigendra, such as Asawa Takuma, or Master Regina, um, and they can sort of expend the talisman and destroy to it to cast that spell. spell. Yeah. I think I will use it on Spies of the Guard Pond. The yep. talisman. Cool. And yeah, so just put like a just put a T on the on the sheet or something just to show that you've got a talisman for it. Yep. Now, since you're rank one at the moment, you can only keep one talisman active at a time. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you can switch it out if you make a check. So to make the check to make it talisman, uh, I think it's a tier, it says in your ability up top. TN something, design check, I think. Uh, yeah, TN2 design. Does it say what ring, or can you use whatever ring? Use any ring to bind a spirit to an inanimate vessel. It just says any ring. Cool, that's fine. Okay. So you need a design check. So. What ring would you like to use? How are you approaching this task? Water. Water. It yep. makes sense. It is a water spell. 
Yeah. Um, cool. So you get number of black. You get three black dice. How many ranks do you have in design? One. One. Cool. So that's gonna be four dice. So water four. is adapting. Yes. So I imagine, and this is in Kyle's mind. I imagine you take an item from the bed table. The, yeah. From the bedside that's what I was table. Next. What are you putting this? This like. I guess you're while you're in bed you're going I'm sick of doing nothing right I need to I'm going to make make a talisman because I don't have one active at the moment what are you grabbing what is what is the nearest item that you want to make this talisman out of so I'm guessing people have washed me yeah yeah would you say there's a bar of soap you know what sure <laughs> <laughs> there's a bar of soap I'll use it out of the soap cool okay so are you like do you get the bar of soap I imagine like you, you and it's been like, fed as well, so there yeah. might be like, like a bone or a toothpick. Or something. Yeah, something that you can like yeah, carve, carve, carve into, into the into the yeah. soap. Yeah. yeah, I imagine you could also just request a knife. Well, or use his fingernails. Yeah. <laughs> knives. It's like yeah. scraggly, uncut fingernails. Yeah. Mm. I don't know if Bartu's really one to request a knife. Nah. Like, in a, in a, he's not very used to a palace life. Yeah. Just starts using his teeth. Yeah. Oh but yeah, um, so I'll just make this roll now. Yep. Okay. So it's TN2, did you say? Uh, TN1. TN1? Oh, for the design. For the design, for yeah. design check. Yeah, TN1. TN2. Yeah, so you just need two successes. So. And then hopefully not to take too much drive. Uh, so I got uh, explosive. Yep. A normal. And I only need to keep those two, yeah? Yep. Okay. So I did take one drive. Okay. Now your explosive success, you can. If you keep can the roll. opportunity as well, uh, that's right. then that. Yes, yeah, so if you keep the opportunity, because okay. opportunity can be used to combat strife. Yep. Okay. Right? And then uh, you actually roll, since you exploded on the white die, you, yep. roll, you roll another white die. Gotcha. Okay. So there was one. So there's one opportunity, yeah, opportunity. So you keep, you keep, keep keeping those three dice, right? Oh, okay. Yep. And then you roll the explosive. So uh, success with an opportunity. So yeah. in the end, you work out to be. Uh, uh, three successes. Three successes with one opportunity. One opportunity if you're spending the other opportunity to get rid of the strife. Yes. Which makes sense. Uh, what do you want to spend that opportunity on? Um, Is there any additional... There's not really no. any additional effects of this thing. No. Um, Is no. that one of those ones where you can make one of your next checks easier? Maybe. So it was, an artisan, it was an artisan skill opportunity. You can add the war gear, because you're in water, you can add the war gear or concealable quality to an item you're altering into a different item. Mm, I mean, it's it's, a tar, it's already concealable. Yeah. I, don't okay. know if, I don't know if it really and is, is war gear. There, there's one here for artisan. Add a kept black set to uh, op, uh, opportunity to the next artisan skill check you make for the end of the game session. That would actually be very helpful. Yeah. So let's do that. Okay. Okay. Oh, where, where, is the, where is that one, sorry? Um, it, it's on this sheet. Oh, it's under... Yeah. Um, There's two sides. Where is it? Other skill one. examples of water, artisan, add a kept black die set to an opportunity result to the next artisan skill check you make for the end of the game session. Okay, cool. Okay. So essentially you'd get to keep that for next time. Okay. So, and then I make my actual water check. Yes. Okay. So now you need uh, the water check in order to actually teleport through this... Yeah, and I need a TN1. S single success. So you need TN1 because it's your talisman. Yeah. Okay. And what's your ranks in theology? Two. Two ranks in theology and you're using water? Yeah, so, so three. three blanks. This is going to be easy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you say that, no. Well, yeah. It is possible to put blanks on everything. Explosive success, 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 success. We've got at least four successes. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. But like you only needed one. Yeah. <laughs> <So> <laughs> Keep whatever you want and let me know what you get. Okay. So having this magical power channeled into your forehead, right? Because he's not only giving you the vision, he's also giving you the ability to upcast the spell. Yeah. Right? Um, which is a weird experience for you. You've never experienced this, but you feel a surge of energy and you create a portal with this body of water. How big is this bowl of water? Uh, it's like, a, I'm, I'm imagining something sort of uh, pensive sized from, from, from Dumbledore's office in Harry Potter. Okay. Right? So... It's not going to be an easy fit, yeah, but you can probably do it. Okay. Virginia in particular is a, is a skinny man. Yeah. Okay. So I guess I'll try and fit through this bowl. Cool. You fit through with no problem. Oh. Uh, what about my horse? 
horse is still at the stables. Okay. <laughs> in in Nikasake. Not in Nikasake, in um in Nisawa. at at Kiyun Nisawa. Okay. That being said, it is only a day's ride. Yeah. Well, it's a day's like ride if you're pelting. Um, okay, I suppose I could come back and grab it. Or stand for it. Yeah, yeah. Could have somebody. I would yeah. love to see you try and force your horse through this. <laughs> <laughs> Just like. <laughs> <laughs> you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it go through a magical teleportation. <laughs> <laughs> and that is what they say. <laughs> that is what they yeah. say. <laughs> okay, so. Yep. Um, we see this river outside Mikasaki. And suddenly emerging out of it, no one saw anyone go into this river to bathe, but you see two men who look very different, right? <laughs> You've got one tall, lanky, very um, very proper, bearded old man, and one much younger, dark-skinned, it would be messy hair if it wasn't soaked and clinging to his face, yeah. um, sort of just start walking out of, the, out of this river. In the background, oh, Baywatch music plays. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much. The rock is it's, running it's Daniel. It's Daniel Craig coming yeah. out. Of the... <laughs> uh, anyway, um, and you walk towards the city of Nagasaki, okay. soaking wet. Yeah. It does actually say that in the spell. If you use yeah. it as a teleport thing, you always come out the other side soaking. I uh, uh, just stopping. yesterday I rewatched the latest Power Rangers movie. Yeah, and, I haven't seen it. Oh, well, they have to go through water to get to there. They're a little pace every time. Yep. It's weird. <laughs> All right. So, um, what basically has happened is you are in the city of Nikasaki and you're in basically a similar situation to that Ayuchi Baju just left. You're all in, you know, big fluffy beds being taken care of in, um, yeah, I guess you'd call it a palace. It's not nearly as big as Kyoto and Asawa, but there is sort of like a central... Like a large manor thing. house. Yeah, sort yeah. of thing in Nikasaki. Um, being tended to. Two days pass while you're recovering. You, in particular, have a lot of sort of burns over your skin, but they're pretty good at healing up here in the Phoenix Lands, so uh, not not too much to worry about there. They also they get healed up. Cool. Um, is there anything that people want to do over those two days, assuming they have time to recover? Well, I'm I'm not doing much because I'm, I'm I'm conscious and well I've got minor wounds so I'm not yeah You're not a Kira yeah you don't have no. nerve damage <laughs> I'm <laughs> testing where the nerve damage <laughs> starts and ends it's like no. poking yourself and from needle. a scientific point of view yeah. so works <laughs> out <laughs> um, but I want to see if I can create like a uh, a fireworks arrow okay so okay I've got, I've got phosphorus magnesium and iron okay. Uh, so what do you want this to do? What, what's your end goal here? Uh, yeah, I want it to either blind an opponent if mm. I shoot it at them, or I can shoot it up straight up in the air and signal. Okay, but you're not looking for like an explosive. No. Like, no. you're not looking to damage people. I'm not looking to damage. damage. I don't want a C4 arrow. No. <laughs> it's a play <laughs> ball yeah. on an arrow. I don't want to blind them <laughs> or, or signal my arrows. Cool, like it. So you're basically looking for a big flash. Yeah. Um, flash bang. Yeah. Okay, you, you can do that. Let's uh, see. So that's going to be that's going to be a design check, if I'm not mistaken. Cool. I have two white in design. And uh, how are you doing it? Uh, I unfortunately think I'm going to do some fires. This is inventing something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I am going to use a void point because it's we've recovered. Yeah. It's been. Do we get void points back on a long rest? Uh, okay, so, um, you get them back at the beginning of a new session, which is now. Cool. We, the, the, everything up to now is treated as sort of part of the previous session. Yeah. Um, but... Cool, so I'm using a void, so I've got two white and three black. And I can cool. keep three. Nice. And what's the TN of this? Uh, I think I'm willing to say... I'm going to say three. TN three? TN three. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make it harder. So this is what I'm, this is what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. um, when you try to make something, mm -hmm. I'm going to let you obviously try and make it. Yeah. But if you fail, I'm going to let you use opportunity that you've accumulated to reduce the difficulty of the next check you try to make cool. that or a similar thing with. Gotcha. And so essentially, repeated, repeated use will mean you'll eventually get there. 
Okay, and how many ch ch chances do I get in this two-day period? Just two? One? I think you were... You weren't unconscious, so... Yeah, you can have two. Cool. Well, this is the first one. Okay. It's a TN4. TN4. Yeah. Okay, I've got... Uh, and I can keep three dice. So I'll keep that opportunity. I've got one success and an explosive success. I'm doing really well today. Another success with a strife. So that's three successes. I'm going to take the strife, but I'm going to use the opportunity to re reduce the TN. So you have the next check? Yep. yep. Cool. So three successes, you said. Yes. That's close. Okay. So the rules I'm doing, I've just made this up on the spot. We'll change it if we need to get to it. But this is, in general, for all of your design stuff, obviously if it's too crazy, we're just going to say no. Yeah. Um, but if you fail, you can use opportunity to reduce the TN of the next check, one, one per, but you can only keep as many opportunity for that as you had successes. Gotcha. Right? So you can't just... Go, oh, I failed. I'm going to dump all my successes to make everything good, all the opportunities. And uh, strike, does that reset on a scene? Uh, on a scene, you reduce down to half your max. Half my max. So. Okay, so if I'm at less than half my max, it doesn't change. I don't think it does. Okay. I think you actually have to, like, Dismalize. you have to do your passions. Well, whatever that okay. is. This would be one of my passions. But is it? What's your passion? Armaments. I could yeah, okay, stuff. so that's <laughs> fine. I'll just, let you, I'll just let you wave that. Cool. That's right. Oh, okay. So I'm still at four from the battle. Yep. Uh, and second day... Can I so did you day? remove three strife? Remove three strife. Passion is removed. Your passion removes three strife. Oh, does it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I got one strife, bring me up to five, so that brings me down to two. Yes. Excellent. And then the second attempt, the mm. next day, so it's only TN three now. What, no, how many opportunities do you have? One. One. Yeah, so, so it's, it's now TN three. three. I'm still going to use Invention, and I'm going to use... What, did you add white or black for void? Black. Okay, cool. Okay. I have two in design. Cool. Give me something good, baby. Wow. Uh, Is that wow, it's good or wow, it's not good? Wow, it's good. Okay. Uh, and when I successfully invent something, if I want to make more of that, mm -hmm. What's the TN? Is it the same as what I created? Is oh, it? no, it's going to be much easier then. Cool. No worries. In that case, I am going to keep... In fact, actually, and one of the opportunity things that you can use on artisan checks um, is um, for each opportunity you spend to create one additional item per opportunity Oh, spend. okay. So you can spend opportunity to make a bunch of them. And I have to choose which dice I keep before... Yes. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Um... Language. Are you allowed to swear? <laughs> yeah, you're allowed to swear. Yes. Oh, fuck a duck. That being, that being said, I did cut one or two jokes out of the previous episodes. I'm stuck. Were they Leon jokes? No, they were Kyle jokes. Oh, oh wow, really? Uh, yeah, you remember, you would... Yeah. <laughs> you said, you said half the joke and then was like, oh, 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 and then everyone else caught on and went, oh, 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 oh. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, so in that <laughs> case, I'm bad. going to keep... Uh, yeah, I've cut it out. Keep, yeah. So in the episode, <laughs> it's in my footage. Uh, so I've arms. got a success on a black dice, success on a white dice, and a explosive success with a strike on a black dice. Okay, so you're trying to get. Oh, that's the three successes. Yep. But I'm gonna, trying to get. I'm going to roll the explosive to see if I get an opportunity. Cool. And I got nothing. <laughs> you had nothing. So I success succeed, but I only make one. I assume. How much opportunity do you have? No opportunity. No. Okay, cool, and you take the strife. So yeah, you only you only make the one the and one flash bow. And that flash arrow. two units of magnesium for two checks. Sure. Yeah. Yep. And the phosphorus. And the phosphorus. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna need to buy some more. And because I was using armaments, I have no strife now. Yes. Because I was at two, goes up to three, comes down to zero. There you go. Am I so, enough to do let's, anything? well, in a second. I just want to briefly go over, uh, Kyle, what level ups you yeah, did, what, what XP you spent. Uh, what XP I spent? I, um, have become a little bit more, what, what does air give you? Uh, well, air is used often for deceptiveness. Um, uh, it's also used, uh... Haven't been in the company now of 
Mm-hmm. Akira, mm. who is very de- uh, deceptive very and evasive, cunning, kind of and uh, and also Tagashi. That would be what I would know you as, yeah, Tagashi. Mm-hmm. Uh, who is also very quick and very agile. I've decided I've become learned a lot from them and increased my hair ring from nice. one to two. And I've also learned the kata kata uh, pelting hail style. Nice. So you don't have any dump stats right now. No, you know, you've got two, a three two, and, a, two, and, and a bunch of twos. Um, yeah, and the pelting hail style, just so we know, Carl, what does that do? Briefly. Uh, I create a volley of arrows, and uh, if I can expend opportunity to um, deal strife to anybody around Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of strife. Uh, using your Ayumi, it's going to be seven strife to each person you hit. Um, so basically, so basically I you release fight. a volley of arrows, and people get scared. Yes, so he still gets to hit the person he targeted if he succeeds. And everyone else gets freaked out at the volley of arrows coming in. Everyone else or everyone he chooses? Everyone he chooses. Yeah. He has to spend opportunity to trigger each additional person. Um, and it's really impressive considering you, an Ayumi is a crossbow, which is the fastest <laughs> thing to shoot. No, uh, you were talking last session about maybe at some point building a repeating crossbow and we might we might have to delve into that yeah. at some point. But it's good. Good stuff. All right. Um, I guess we'll go to Akira. Cool. So, well, okay, yeah. I got, got what, one day? Yeah, maybe? we'll say they brought you back, they brought you out of your mini coma. Um. Cool. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Um, there's two things I was hoping to do in that day. Mm-hmm. One was find somebody who I can buy and sell poisons from. Yep. The second thing was make some sushi to calm my nerves. And just... Okay, so you are kind of restrained to the, to the bed. Oh, I'm actually yeah. tied. No, you're not tied to it. Like, like but yourself? as far as how well you're feeling, you're you're, you're basically on bed rest. All right. Um, Just ask the nurse where you can find the nearest prison. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Actually, no. They're, they're, they're medical people. Uh, is there? Uh, <laughs> this is what I was hoping Bring you would kind of get to. <laughs> yeah, you know, you got a point. Um, Investigation check with the medics. <laughs> Is there... Okay, so the, the poison I'm looking for is one called Noxious Poison, but that's like a street name. I'm sure it's got a non-street name version of an actual like medicinal a, use. So poison. Noxious Poison, I believe, is actually just a term that's used for poisons. Uh, right? The specific one, there's three types. There's the... Yeah, there's three types, but one of them, which I, the most basic one, um, that does plus four deadliness or whatever it does. Yeah. Um, it is... That's essentially just poison, right? Noxious is an adjective there, not not a name, right? Okay, yeah. The other ones are specific poisons. This one is just like, this is what poison does that's generally available. Uh-huh. Well, I'm zooming for the basic one then in that case. Yep. Which is, I've got a little thing just here somewhere. Which is noxious poison. It is noxious poison. Yeah, it is something bad for people. Anyway, I'm looking for just like the normal basic poison. So you're looking for something that'll, that'll screw some people up. Yes, and I'm looking for as much as I can get my hands on, and I'm willing to steal it if I need to. Okay. Um, though I will try and just, you know, see if they've got it. Make a joke okay. about something, and then see if they kind of. What kind of position does they look like? Does it look like that can bribe them or not really? Well, okay, here's the thing. When, even though I say hospital bed, and I say that with air quotes because it's definitely not a hospital. Yes. Um, it, they deal more with, like, medicinal herbs and. You know, um, maybe even some spells and things like that. So I don't know how much, like, actual poison they'd have on hand. Well, what I'm wondering is maybe there's, like, a certain amount of, like, ingredients that I know if I mix them become okay. poisonous. Alright, let's do a thing. Yeah, I love things. So let's abstract it a little make it a roll. Because cool. that is what the game is. Yes. Um, so, what role are you looking at? Um... So medicine is a skill. Yes, is that pretty good? There's also the arts and skill composition. That's for like writing poems oh, and okay. stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's not under a trade by any chance. Like skull skullduggery skullduggery. could apply, but you're not really dealing with those types of people. Um, then I guess this is a social. It's it's up to you. Like, choose a skill and tell me how you're applying it. Can you, okay, let me explain what I just, uh, the things I described. Mm-hmm. Am I actually trying to mix ingredients here? Is this what we're going with? That's what I'm asking. Okay. Right? Well, How do you want to go about it? Um, I'm looking to. Okay, I guess we have to figure. You say there's probably not a pre-mixed 
poisons do not touch section. If there's, if there's based like on a based on the section, based on your result of the roll. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm gonna go skull degree. I'm gonna try and say sneak around, see what I can find, okay. and um. Sure. Be sneaky, I guess. Okay. So make make a skull degree check. For me. Cool. So that and I can choose the a ring to do that from. Uh yes. Well, I guess so. In that trade ring. Well, you're you're doing sneaky stuff. Yeah. So right. Con. Oh, that's perfect. For you. Yeah, con is air ring. Yeah. Okay. Which con works. Do. So I've got two in skull degree with the white dice. Yep. And three in air ring. I am going to make the TN equal to uh, six minus whatever your uh, uh, focus is. Five. Wow! <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> so, cool. TN so this is how I'm sort of incorporating um, incorporating the perception part of this skill. Like the actual finding of it is reducing the difficulty of your skull degree check. All right, cool. I yeah. like that. So I got a success with strife, excess, an explosive success, an explosive success, success with strife. Okay, that's a lot of strife. <laughs> So how many are you keeping? There's Which four ones? strife. You only need TM1, so... What extra successes, what do they... Mm, maybe how much you get. Yeah, I'm going to go max explosives. I want to see what happens. Do you also get another one? I get another one. Because you used air, so you just keep three dice. Oh, yeah. you get the same. Yeah, yeah cool. And then I only re-roll the black ones, is that the mm -hmm. case? Yep. So yeah, so you had two explosive successes, so you rolled yes. two, two black. And you, keep, you can, you can choose when you roll them. Before you roll the next one, you can choose whether to keep it or get rid of it. Okay. Now, there's I'm no gonna, reason to get rid of it. I'm going to keep that because it's an opportunity which yep. negates one of the strife. And that's a success with a strife. And I can choose to get rid of that card. You can drop it if you want. Uh, so, when I rested, you said they got me down a half strife? Yes. So my max. Oh, sorry, sorry. New. I should have actually done this with Kyle as well. I think new session, you're back down to zero. Oh, so I'm yeah. currently at zero. And you're also same with your fatigue. I did get fatigue. Okay, cool. All right. Well, in that case, I am currently at zero. I will, in this circumstance, take all the strife, which is going to give me three strife. Cool. Um, so I plan on making sushi later, which will hopefully calm my nerves. Nice. Uh, is there a rubber? Oh, can I grab that first thing? Thank you. An eraser. An eraser. Uh, I think that's yours. No, it's a rubber. No. One of them is mine, I honestly don't know. I think, I think the one with the, rap, the, the, the red one's out. So, is that zero? I'm currently at three at the moment, um, which gives me one, two, three, four successes and two strife because one opportunity cool. cancels out the other. So, uh, how much successes? Sorry, four. Four successes, two strife. Cool. I'm going to say you find. Uh, so, you find one. I'll, I'll say you find three units. Three units of Noxious Poison. I think, I think Noxious Poison is the basic one. Yeah. Yes, that's the one I'm hoping to find. Cool. Did you um, find the document, by the way? The, yeah. The I've Poisons and Maladies yes, document? Yes, thank you. Cool. That's um, safe for my um, At other point, during things, I might update this document if I want to add something. That's cool. Yep, no worries. Alright, so I feel pretty confident that I found what I'm looking for. Yeah, so basically what you found is a bunch of herbs that, given a little bit of time, you can make. Um, now I'm going to try and like put it all back so it doesn't look like I've gone through it. And then I'm going to ask around for some food to see if I can arrange it into a little nikiri or something. Something fancy to try and, like food presentation to relax myself. To relax yourself. So you want, okay, you want to make some. Okay, sure. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I call uh, so you over after to... You're, you're, you're limping down towards the kitchen. Yep. <laughs> right? You're limping down to the dining hall, uh, where, the where the kitchen area would be adjacent to. Yep. Um, by the way, what is... B Barcher's the only one who's not injured at all in this... Well, I mean, he's still... Yeah, no, you're not injured at all in this yeah. situation. So what is what is Barcher doing, meanwhile? Anything to do with this, or should we just hang on for a sec? So, after I came to Nicholas out there, mm -hmm. I would have found out everything that happened. Yes, you... you well, um, I'm assuming you would have talked Matt to Sal Matt Sal. would have kept yeah. calling you up today. Uh, I, and Master Eugenia would have wanted to know as well. Yeah, I did. And I met Matt Sal. Yeah. Okay, so you notice that uh, Matsuhiro has been 
hanging around the room that Toshiro stayed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Little anime hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Wasn't she asking for a female in marriage? Yes. Yeah. Not I that you know that. I don't know that, but yeah. Um. So have you been interacting with Akira at all? Other than like, you know, just the cordial. Also, like, are Akira and I in the same like room of the med bay? Did I just watch her get up and steal some poison? And no, no, you're not, in the, you're not in the same room. You're in separate rooms. So, is this while they're unconscious? This yeah, you basically have two full days to do okay. stuff. I just want to know while we're in the middle of Akira's actions if you're interacting with those actions at all. Okay. Otherwise, we'll come back. Uh, I'll probably just send someone to grab my horse. Yep. Okay. And yeah. Probably just check up on them, but that's about it with okay. interacting. No worries. Um, okay, back to you then. Cool. So, no you, yeah, no worries. You managed to get your way to the kitchen. Yep. Um, I find someone who's like starting to like wash the rice for making sushi, and I tell him how he's doing it wrong. Everything right. you know, he's doing. And unbeknownst to you, this is the head chef. That's fine. right. Who turns around and goes, Excuse me, who are you? Uh, I am Akira. What I meant to ask was, why are you in my kitchen? I'm making sushi. And, and basically looks at you, you've got like, bloody bandages, and, and things on it, says... Just, on. Move, just, just, just move aside, where, look, I see you got the rice, you are washing it, you have not washed it enough, but that's fair enough. Where is your fresh produce? I need salmon, I need tuna. Right. Let's <laughs> see, let's make a check. If you heard avocados, if you have, I want 13. So, so it's like the house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, probably gonna be a social check. Yeah. To see if fine. he lets you just sort of take, start taking over his kitchen. Oh, well, this is absolutely command. Um, yeah, it's definitely not courtesy. I can tell you that. Performance? I am perform. Uh, it's definitely not courtesy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how can I think it's his performance? Performance? Like, a, like I'm yeah, coming off as like a confident chef, do you know what I mean? Like a snap to kind of deal. Confident? I don't know if confident really gets I think you're actually it. coming off as a Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, that was kind of the... the performance... You're to go through that stuff. Um, uh, performance skill pertains to the act of entertaining others with the active arts, from song and dance to storytelling. Alright. <laughs> Maybe not in this case. <laughs> is it a full like courtesy to, to be <laughs> abrupt? <laughs> is it a full <laughs> courtesy to walk into someone else's kitchen and start Insult telling them what them to do? And then tell them what to do. <laughs> if Gordon Ramsay did that to you though, in real life, I, came to your yeah, kitchen. But sorry, that's command. Gordon Ramsay no, is a command skill. Oh, right. <laughs> you know what? It is command then, let's just go with that. Uh, so what approach are you using here? You're not tricking him, so it's not air, unfortunately. <laughs> Inciting. Well, then it doesn't matter what else I use, everything else is going to be... Maybe it's well, Okay, before you, you make this check, you? before you make this check, let's go over what you spent your XP on. Alright, All right. true, good point. So, I spent some of my XP um, upgrading my Void Ring from 1 to 2. Um, yep. This is so that I get an extra Void Point, and also means if I decide to take that stance, I'm not hindered. Unlike everything else, so I'm a bit of an all-rounder at the moment. Yes, also, another reason you did was so that now you have yes. two in your Void stat, you can now increase your uh, air to Yes, because my air was at three, and if I wanted to increase it above three, I had to have a, this combination of Void and... And your lowest ring, which was Void. Which was Void. <laughs> one and one at the time, it's a maximum of two. So, so now, that, now, now I can, can do four, is yes. my highest. So that's about one of the main reasons. I also took on a Carter, which is normally a rank 2 Carter, but was available to me due to the... Was it one of my skills I could learn? Uh, it's is, your school your school availability stuff. Yeah, school availability stuff, which is called the Veiled Menace Style. Basically, um, when I make a martial melee attack or unarmed attack using a weapon that's in one hand grip, I may spend opportunity in the following ways, and I can choose to... Uh, one unaware or disorientated target of an action, and they can suffer a crit uh, I'm not speaking properly. They suffer a critical strike with severity equal to weapon's deadness plus one per opportunity spent this way beyond first. So it basically means I can do a more deadly attack with one-handed weapons. Yes. Um, 
as long as they are disoriented, disoriented or unaware. Disoriented. Basically, it's just yep. their version of sneak attack. Pretty much. So um, that is the plan to be sneaky, sneaky, and deadly, deadly. Yeah, you can actually do really good crit strikes with that. Yeah, because not really only cool. does it only, um, it only you only need one opportunity to trigger it, yep. but. Increase it increases the severity per opportunity you spend on it. Yeah, if you get a lot of opportunity yeah. to strike, it's very impressive. So that's for the two I've taken. So half of that goes, well, a few of those points go towards ranking up my skill. The other part, just the ring doesn't help you with your skill rank, unfortunately. It just makes your abilities a little bit better. Um, it does count half towards your school. Level up. Well, yeah, half yeah. towards school. Which, for the rings, the rings are quite expensive, so it ends up being about the same anyway. Yeah, um. true. Good point. Um, so really, at this point, other than if I can't use air, all my other rings are at 2, so it doesn't really have a mechanical effect, more just no. a theatrical one. And I guess I will go with, either, you're right, either Enlighten or Reason. I guess. I don't know if Enlighten's thing. really going to work. Then I'm going to have to go, was it not, it's not tricking. Reason. There's the trick, same. Reason, Incite, The other, the other thing I'll, I'd offer yes. is if you want to try and incite him. Yes. Right? You might be able to get him to blow his head, blow his top. Yeah, cool. Right. All right, let's do that. Let's do fire. Like you could, you could, you could almost be trying to commend him around in order to piss him off, so he storms out. The, we're acting on the assumption he doesn't know I'm a samurai right now, aren't we? Uh. Because if I if I was a samurai, would he feel like he, if he knew I was a samurai, would he be more inclined to listen to me? Yeah, I guess so. So I'm gonna just keep that whole thing. I want him to respect me for my skills, not because of my rank. If that okay. Makes sense. So yeah. I'm just gonna. Try and get him to blow his load. Also, I imagine if a peasant walked in and started commanding somebody around, like a head chef, their head would be off. True. Well, either way, I'm just going to give it a shot. So, yeah, I will go with Insight, which is fire. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a command, I guess. Because I didn't go about this very courteous courteously. <laughs> <laughs> Leon's learning that he's a lot better at being nice to people than he is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Did you want to spend your additional void? Do the voids come back per per session, session not per day? Is the start yeah, per session. No, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll be close to the end but of also session. when you use your um, when you so the other way to get void points is that when you trigger your disadvantages, the first time in a scene you get a void point back. So like you can voluntarily freak yourself out about something, right? Take on that strain, like we did in combat. Yeah. Take on that that's uh, stress, that strife. That's what's called. So you're a perfectionist. Right. With your anxiety. Yeah. Anything short of perfection is So if you if you you know fail a roll or something's wrong that you've done you're, you're a bit off about it you can it basically it rewards you for playing to those disadvantages. Well, I started off by telling him how he was washing the rice, the rice wrong. Did yes. that fall under my perfectionist anxiety? Or yeah, you... but usually the, the disadvantages are about you. Yeah, anything yeah. Right? short of per per perfect in your work is yeah. unacceptable. So that's, Fair yeah. enough. basically, it's a way for you guys to say, cool, I've got these disadvantages which are bad for me, yes. right? In in, an, in another game, you never put yourself in those situations. It basically just rewards you for putting yourself in those situations and playing your character. Perfect, yeah, no, that makes sense. Alright, cool, well, in that case, it's an straight command in the fire stance, and what's the TN? Two. Possible. What's it? What have you got? Two. 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 two <laughs> that's alright. Let's see what happens. Oh, an explosive success and success. So nice. That's you succeed. Explosive. I should have kept that. I was an explosive success with a strife. So okay. I'm gonna keep that there for me. All right, and then I get a opportunity and a strife. So that is two successes and two strife. Two successes, three strife, one opportunity. Yes. So I can choose to. I'll just do nothing anyway. So let's keep those two. So that's two successes, two strife. Um, I'm just going to take the strife. Because that's what I want to do. It's going to be better in the long run. So two success, two strife goes to four strife at the moment. But I succeed, so... You can, um, you can use your opportunity if you want to make the other guy suffer strife. No, I'm gonna start, <laughs> if I do that, I'll have too much strife, and then the whole point of making sushi will be null and void. Yes. So I'm going to keep it that way, so now I'm four. Um, and I will... Yeah, so I tell him to grab some stuff for me. I don't really want to kick him out of the kitchen. My plan is just to turn him into 
like he like he was a apprentice. newbie apprentice chef again. Is okay, I'm trying chef. to humble him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, well, you succeed. Cool. Perfect. Awesome. So he basically he gets he gets visibly angry, right? Yeah. Because you know he's a peasant. He doesn't need to keep up samurai expectations. Yeah. Um, he gets visibly angry, but then he actually starts listening to what you're saying, and you you get creative. Perfect. So we start washing the rice. I grab out my like fancy decorative sushi knives, and I'm like, as he bought me meat, I'm guessing some kind of sure. Fish. Oh, you got someone else to do it. Cool. Yeah. No worries. As he's doing it, he can't. I'm hoping that he sees my skill with the blade and actually starts realizing I'm just not some random. Yeah. And I um, end up making these really nice little like decorative nigiri with a bit of salmon and an avocado on top, and actually look really pretty. And I'm like, try it. He tries it. He loves it. I look at him and I kind of hope the tension... It's like, this is... This is good. Tolerable. Perfect. <laughs> I'm like, no, I, just, I look at... I don't kind of see anyone. I just start screaming Batu's name. And just like, Batu! <laughs> <laughs> Food! <laughs> and I'm like, expecting to what hear... What does like, Batu do when he... When, I'm assuming you're somewhere nearby. Yeah. Right? You sort of hear... hear your, I don't know, do you hear your name on the wind or do you hear the word food on the wind? <laughs> <laughs> That's what, what would I have been like eating at the, what, my hospital bed? Hospital. Yeah. Hospital bed. Hospital. Um, Just like you, simple? Yeah, simple stuff. Nothing too crazy. I'll probably hear the word food. Good, good food, but not like, nothing delicious. Clean food. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll probably hear the word food mm. and then Batu. <laughs> yeah. Even yeah. though Bartu was said first yeah. somehow, yeah. it's like <laughs> he's hearing his dyslexic. Yeah. Just his <laughs> and then yeah, I guess I'll go searching for the origin of the of the food. Yeah. Cool. I'm assuming you feed it to Bartu. Is that your plan? Yeah, I plan on making actually like a big platter, and I actually share it around with him. Cool. Even well, I basically, we see Bartu heading up towards the kitchen to to receive this delicious gift, and um, <laughs> basically, as that's happening, we fade away to. To Shiro's bed. So, do I get to know if I cross off three strike? Yeah. Because that's part of my thing. I think we'll uh, discuss what's happening in Toshiro's <laughs> bedroom uh, next episode, because there's going to be a bit of roleplay involved. In... <laughs> so it's already going a bit long. So I guess we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching um, Conclave of Black Opal. Um, yeah, join us next week. Bye. 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 Bye.